So it happened. It finally happened. For a minute, I was doing it. I was, I was holding on strong. But it finally got me. Like, and it, it got me good. Man, like two years, two. Wait, how long have it been? Over two years of like avoiding this. I've been just like ninja <laughs> chopping this thing away, throwing a dukins at it. Everything a ninja boss could do. But man, it got me. I caught the vid. So now I am currently isolating myself in this room. Baby Sky Money is gone. The only fresh air I'm getting is from the window. I am in full lockdown mode. Which means you guys are gonna have to be the ninja bosses that you are and hold it down for me. But don't worry, Pippin, because I got five tips that will instantly up your sauce when it comes to your videos. Cause y'all got this, y'all some ninja bosses. Y'all got this. Y'all gotta be my eyes and ears for a while and bring the sauce. First tip I have for you guys is to use music and sound effects. And I'm not saying go overboard with music or sound effects, but try to use it when it's appropriate because music helps your audience understand how they should feel. And then the sound effects are there to actually bring the extra sauce. And now I get asked a lot on where I get my sound effects as well as my music from, and Pimpin, you know, I got you. I personally use Epidemic Sound. And now I am not sponsored by Epidemic Sound in like no way, but like Epidemic Sound, it is a goal of mine to be sponsored by y'all. So holla at a play. But yeah, I use Epidemic Sound and I've been using Epidemic Sound for about, wow, it's been about three years. Epidemic Sound is so easy to use and very affordable. And for me personally, I found the best way to find music so that you're not like wasting a bunch of time is to search by mood. And one of the best things about Epidemic Sound that no one ever says is the simple fact that you can like almost find any of their music on YouTube. And this is huge. Because for example, if you hear a song that you really like that I use, then all you gotta do is pull out your cell phone, hop on that Shazam app, and Shazam it, and it will show up. Boss! And look, I'm just being real, but yes, that's how I find my music too. So I'm either on their website searching by mood, or I heard a song from a creator that I really like, and I just Shazammed it. And now if you were looking to try Epidemic Sound, I will leave a link down below, and you will get the first month Free. So definitely check it out and let me know what you think about it. All right, now before we get into the rest of the video, we gotta give a huge shout out to today's coffee sponsor, Metro Master. You are a ninja boss. Dev Verma. And man, thank you so much because you left a comment when I mentioned that I was sick. Thank you, you were definitely a ninja boss. And lastly, Kuda. Thank you so much. Thank you everybody who bought me a, a coffee. If you wanna buy me a coffee, Pimpin, don't be shy. The link is down below. And if not, you know we are still Gucci. Now, tip number two is know your camera's weaknesses. Because like I said, these tips will instantly up your video game no matter what drip you rock it. But at the same time though, you still gotta know a little bit about your camera. And one of the things that I think you should know are your camera's weaknesses. For example is I know that my GoPro Hero 10 is a great camera. I also know that my DJI Action 2 is an amazing camera as well. Both of them are action cameras and both of them bring the sauce when it comes to quality as well as audio. What, what a couple of tweaks, what a couple of tweaks. But one of GoPro's weaknesses is it doesn't shoot that well indoors. While the DJI Action 2 looks actually pretty solid indoors. So if I'm in a situation where I would like to use an action camera inside the house, you best believe that I am gonna be choosing the DJI Action 2. And then the same thing goes for when I'm out and I wanna stunt on all my haters <laughs> with my electric scooter. I know that the Sony a7S III may not be the best suited for that job. It's big, it's heavy, and it's expensive. And since I don't wanna risk the bag, a GoPro might be better suited for that job. But what I'm doing is simply I know my camera's weaknesses. Cause every camera has them, it's up to you to figure out what they are. Because in the end, it will definitely help you bring the extra sauce to your videos. My next tip would have to be to actually edit your video. And believe it or not, this is something that, yeah, I had to come to terms with myself. Because for the longest times, I would leave in all these long pauses, all the ums, blowing my nose, all, in, all, like, all of that stuff. I would just leave it all in. But come on, man. Y'all know as well as I know that that's not, that's, that's not gangster. <laughs> Excuse me. It's the vid, it's the vid. So yeah, nah man, cut all of that stuff out. Just cut it out. I started cutting out all the unnecessary fat in my videos and I saw a huge bump up in my retention as well as my engagement. And to just give you an example of how much of my videos I cut out, after I finish shooting, I pull all the clips into the timeline. My timeline on average is usually about 49 
to an hour and 12 minutes long. But if you didn't notice and if you like take a look at my video length, they're usually about eight to like 11 minutes. And if you do the math, and I, I ain't a math whiz, but if you think about it, that's like 90% of the video gone. I used to try and do the whole like one take game, but I'ma be real that that it, it just doesn't work. It, it don't work. And also not for nothing, when I do see other people do it, the whole like one take game, I would say 80% of people cannot pull it off. It just seems really long, really slow. But then on the other hand, the other 20% of people that I do see doing the one take game, it is beast. Like it is boss. Like seriously, like I need, like if you were doing that and you got it down packed, give me some of that. Cause I, I need that. So yes, I have to say, if you got that sauce, then share some with me. But if you don't, and your videos are just not meant to be one takes, then pimping you, you need to cut that. Like, you need to cut a lot of that. And now the next tip I have for you bringing that extra sauce to your videos is lighting. And now this one is huge because good lighting can make a huge, huge difference. Like for me, I used to not pay attention to it so much. And I'm talking like, even when I was out vlogging, I just wouldn't pay attention that much. Like I'd just be out, filming, doing what thugs do. I was out vlogging and I just happened to turn the camera ever so slightly and no joke while glancing at the viewfinder and pimping. When I tell you I had to like stop myself, like I literally had to do a double take. I was just like, oh goodness, looks good. Like guys, that is no joke. Like good lighting matters. And luckily for like 90% of us, it can be free 99. Like, come on, who don't like free 99? But no, seriously, natural light is amazing if you get it right. For example, if you notice, I've been in this room the entire time, and although I've used a ton of angles, there are a lot of angles that I'm not gonna touch. Like this one, this one, this one, and this one. And the reason for that is simply because I wanna light myself. I am the subject. Versus if I turn this way, then I'm not that well lit and the sky is really blown out. And when you have like pockets or patches of blown out light in your shot, it can be a little distracting. And now look, I am not a lighting guru. Lighting is probably my weakest point, like when it comes to all of this, but I do know what looks good and what doesn't. And I know you guys do too as well because y'all are a bunch of ninjas. So definitely pay just a little bit of attention to lighting and it will massively improve your video. And then the last tip that I will have to say that will help you improve your videos has to be audio. And now when it comes to making videos, I have one golden rule. And that is if you are gonna upgrade something for your production, upgrade audio first. Because Pimp and I ain't gonna lie, people will actually sit through a bad looking video, but will not sit through a video that they can't hear or understand. And now if you don't know what I mean, just think of it like this. If you went to the movies, and let's just say you're going to see the new Mission Impossible. And now look, I'm gonna be real, I haven't been to the movies in like years, so. I don't know what movies are playing, but bear with me, bear with me. Pimp. Your movie starts playing and you are hyped, you are focused, and the picture looks outstanding. Shot all in 8K 120. The main character pops up on the screen and the only thing you hear is <laughs> and that's like all you hear. How long would it take you to get up, walk to the customer service, and get your money back. Like, be real. And now I ain't gonna lie, this has happened to me before, and I legit got up, went and got my money back, and then movie hopped because I felt insulted. You can't be up there testing my gangster like that. And now look, I know that's bad, but why am I watching this if I can't even understand what they say? So always try to remember how important audio is. And if you are looking for some new drip, some new tech drip for your productions, always update audio first. All right, so those are my five tips to help you instantly up your sauce when it comes to making your video. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. And if you have some tips for bringing the sauce in some videos, don't be stingy pimping. Leave a comment down below. That's right, like them comments up. Huge shout out to everybody who bought me a coffee. And if you wanna buy me a coffee, don't be shy pimping. The link is down below. And if not, no tea, no shade. Y'all know I ain't a hater. My hood will never let me be a hater. And now again, I need y'all to go out Bring some sauce because y'all all I got. I'm be quarantining for a couple of days, so send me something to watch. Like, I need it. Like, I need it. Like, comment, subscribe, and if you get a chance, watch one of these videos up here. I will see you guys in the next one.